Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Hey, it's Ariana Baldi. Today we're gonna be reacting to another butt injections documentary. Butt, butt, butt. Injections. Butt implants. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. What? To be honest, you're about. Wait, you were in the- What? What? You're about. Why are you showing them? You're bald and old. And you're really fat. How long have you been in the closet? Since like yesterday night. God. Get out of here. <sighs> Why does this feel like that Darman video where that girl gets bullied for being bald at school? Wow. Hey, watch it. Oh my gosh. Get this nasty thing away from me. Yep, uh, here I am. It's me, Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. I kind of do look like Pitbull though. It's kind of a look. So yeah, um, it's time to come forward with my secret. This is my 16th coming out video. I've already came out as gay. I came out as someone who tried veganism for two weeks. And here I am coming out as a bald person. I've been secretly bald and I tried to hide it from you guys. Let's just tell the internet. I'm bald and I'm proud. As you can see, I do have some hair. So we're gonna shave this down to the scalp. I figured I might as well do it. I'm probably not gonna keep it shaved down to the scalp, but I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see what the vibe is. My little brother Jacob um, actually shaved his head two weeks ago. I have a rash on the side yep. of my head. We're both I bald. I like how we look like Sims. You know like Sims when you're creating them and they aren't fully a person yet? That's us. See, it's like we're just like in the intro and they're like- Nina, Nina. <laughs> How do we oh, yeah. oh yeah, the Sims language. We weren't like making fun of another language. Oh yeah, I wanted to say that too. Let's shave my head and I'll explain everything. Luckily, I already know how to shave a head completely bald because I shaved Jacob's head two weeks ago. So I'm already a pro. Gotta wet your hair. This part of the video is gonna kind of be like a tutorial on how to shave your head, even though this is only my second time ever doing this. You know, I have buzzed my hair down pretty low. I'm never shaving it to the skin. So I'm excited to see how it looks. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna shave it down to the skin again, but you never know. It could be a look. It just feels wrong. Like, I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself, but I guess let's just do it. Wait, is it supposed to hurt? Did it hurt when you did it, Jacob? Yeah, it, it feels really odd. Oh my God. What? So it's time to tell you guys the whole story. So my hair has been thinning for like the last eight years. You know, just slowly thinning, leaving my body. My genetics are betraying me. I actually Googled and only like 20% of people experience balding before the age of like 30. So I'm very unique and you should feel bad for me. You can donate below. I created an organization for other balding 20 somethings. Basically you donate and then we just take the money and like use it on fun experiences because we deserve it because we're bald. Two days ago, I actually had an appointment with like a hair piece place. They do male wigs. Maybe it's just my algorithm because they somehow know I'm bald. But every time I go on TikTok, I see these crazy hair transformations of these bald people getting luscious, thick, beautiful hair. And every time it looks so good, looks so natural. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna wear a wig. So my plan was kind of like, okay, I'll just wear a wig and I won't tell anyone. And the Chan Chan will never know. They shaved the middle of my head and I got the wig on and it just, something was off. The people who did it were so nice. They were so good. It's not their fault. Just for me personally, I was like, I don't know. It's just like too thick. Like I just felt like it would be weird to go from thinning hair to all of a sudden having hair like that one guy on TikTok. Like that's how it felt to me. I felt so bad because once she put the wig on my head, I was like, I don't like it. And she could tell I didn't like it. I felt so bad, but she told me to just keep it on for a day. Maybe I would grow into it. Maybe it would become less poofy. Maybe it would become more natural. I kept it for a day and it still kind of just looked the same and I wasn't into it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna shave my head. So that's what's happening. It's time to say goodbye to the Bieber swoop. Bye bye Bieber swoop. Hello, bald head. You know when one door closes, another door opens. And sometimes it's a room and it just is a big shiny bald head. I almost lied to you guys and secretly wore a wig, but I decided not to. I mean, who knows? Maybe in the future I'll go somewhere else and get another wig and do a video about it. You never know. The weirdest thing about the whole wig experience was it wasn't even uncomfortable. Like that was originally my fear was like, oh, it's gonna be so uncomfortable wearing a wig and it's gonna feel so itchy. Felt nothing. It just felt like it was part of my head. It was the weirdest 
anything ever. But for anyone out there who does have a male wig, um, share your tips below. Because it would be kind of fun like switching it up. Like one week we're in a pink wig, sometimes like bright yellow. Like I would be down to do that. Let me know your advice. Wig wearers anonymous. That's a group. I joined it. Are you joking? I'm just kidding, but that probably is, right? Maybe it is. Is your whole goal with going bald is to end up on famousbaldpeople.com? Oh, that'd be cool. Does going bald make me look way older? With hair, say I looked 27, like, do I look like 32 an hour? Maybe not older, but you look more <laughs> mature. Oh, like, do I look like I could play a dad on a TV show? No, because you look like you're like 25. So I feel like a dad would have to be in their upper 30s or 40s. Yeah, I just feel like if I'm gonna wear a, a wig, like I would just have it be out in the open. Before I thought like, oh, it'll look so natural, like I won't have to tell anyone, but yeah, it might as well as be honest, you know? Why live a lie? Cut to me in three months wearing a wig, pretending it's my hair. No, uh I didn't go bow. And delete this video. Like, <laughs> oh no, I just have a thick hair, a head of hair. It is funny that me and Jacob are both are going completely bald around the same time. Cause it actually wasn't planned. My plan was to do the wig route. I was gonna add more hair to my head. I always knew in the back of my mind, like, oh, if I hate the wig, I'll just shave my head. But look at us. I might just change my YouTube channel name from Lucas to bald guy. So people really know what they're getting into. You know? It is scary because Jacob did inform me that there's a certain phobia where it's a legit fear that some people have and it's of bald people. Pelodophobia. The fear of bald people. So if you have that phobia, I'm sorry, but our relationship is probably gonna have to end here. Cause I, I don't want every time you click on my video, you have a panic because you see a bald man. Is there an evolutionary reason for balding? That's what I wanna know. Like, did this at least benefit our ancestors? Well, it probably did because they probably used to get in big fights so they used to pull each other's hair. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if that's why evolution effing made bald people because back in the day, so many people pulled guys' hair. The saddest thing about all this is, um, some of you guys might know I'm with Matthew and one time I went bald, he literally dumped me. So now I'm single. <laughs> Just kidding, but can you imagine? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> you went bald in those suitcases you already. <laughs> Immediately packed all those things. I'm out. Mom and dad blacked you. That's just gross. <laughs> Anyone who's bald from like the next 10 years called me. I don't think I feel any more hair. Where did it all go? You guys, it's gone. Are there any like weird things on my head that you didn't know I had? Cause like when we shaved Jacob's head, he had all these weird birthmarks, these weird things. <laughs> As you can see, there's a bunch of dots back there. Because like five years ago, a robot took all these little hairs from the back of my head and tried to and implanted them here. That's why like I kind of do have like a good hairline, even though my hair was thinning because I did get one hair transplant. Plastic surgery. It feels so weird touching my head. Okay, I'm gonna use some Polish Choice aftershave. I use this on my neck and it always gets rid of the razor bumps. You know, this just has some salicylic acid and some other soothing ingredients to exfoliate your scalp because after you shave, it can be good to exfoliate. Don't forget any spot. <laughs> Just looking at yourself in the mirror bald is so funny. <laughs> is that the reaction people have when they look at me? Just go <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of lotion because Jacob told me to. You gotta listen to the bald people who came before you. This is kind of like a look. I feel like if you saw me, like, kind of like, don't F with him, you know? Maybe that's kind of the vibe, which matches my true personality. Okay, now gonna add some sunscreen, super goo, because the only thing worse than a bald head is a bald head with sunspots. Thumbs up for that. This is great. This is me. This is real. I'm exactly as bald as I've always been. Just that I got a hair transplant, so I'm kind of cheating. Now that I've seen who I am, there's no need to hide the scalp. No more hiding who I'm supposed to be. This is bald me. Hey guys, I'm back in the video room and I'm still bald. Now that I'm bald, I kind of want to go on Omegle just to see people's reaction to a bald person. Like when I've done Omegle videos in the past, when I had hair, I would get nexted all the time. But now maybe people will want to talk to me because I'm bald and they feel superior over me. I feel like it's going to thrive. Like all of the random people who just show their dick are going to love seeing a bald head. Hey! I'm out, homie. Oh, I thought he'd want to chat. Hi, I'm bald. What's up? Not much. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I actually just shaved my head. You're looking good. You even you see this. I simply shaved my head. You have a nice, thick, luscious head of hair. It's been three months. Do you think I can pull it off? You just need, I guess, a couple of months to grow it up. But do you think it looks good right now? Um, I haven't seen you in, in your head. That's why I can't judge. But like on first impression, are you like, ew, or like, oh, okay. Or like, yes. Okay. Okay, bye bye. So far, the bald head is a medium hit. He said he wouldn't be like, oh my god, yes, but he wouldn't say ew. He would just say, oh, okay. And that's okay, that's a, that's a good reaction. Oh my god, I like your shirt. 
Thanks! Oh yeah, I'm also bald. Yeah. What do you think? I just did it. It doesn't look too bad. Oh my god, that's nice. good! If you had to pick, is this better or is this better? Bald. Bald? Okay. You know, people are loving the bald head. <laughs> Me just sitting here smiling at a webcam in a wig. This is fun. Welcome to the Bob Show! <laughs> Welcome to the Bob Show. He's bald. And so is he. And you might be in the future too. I, I got hair. Can I have some? Nah, I'll keep them in here. Please. Hair precious. Please. 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 <laughs> no. Hi, 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 hi. We both are twins, right? We aren't twins. We're brothers though. Yes, yes, yes. We are from? America. I'm from India. What do you do for a living? We are the Bowed Boys and we travel across the US and um, we we just are Bowed and we do Bowed people things. Yeah, we have a Bald song. Do you want to hear it? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Welcome to the Bald Show. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Bald, bald show. show. My name is Jacob and his name is Lucas. And we are both Bald. And then usually I would have like fake boobs on and they'd be like bouncing, but yeah. Oh, is that a good one to end with? Yeah, I feel like I know what people think. Yeah. We Most people be... just think we're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out even if you go bald, if you were annoying with hair, most likely you'll be annoying bald, I found out. Yeah, I won't change anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below on a scale from one to 10 how bald you are. Talk to you later.